Hey, what's up guys? It's Ashtray, and as you can probably tell from the title of the video, I took Auto Alex's advice and went out and bought a sh box. <clears throat> the reason why I did that is because he roasted my last car, which was quite disappointing to be fair. I thought he was going to love it, but no, he didn't. But it's alright because I've gone out and I've bought another one, and I'm sure he's going to love it. And, yeah, well, le let me show you around. basically guys as you've just seen um, I bought this car and I didn't do any car horizontal checks we're not saying car va because I'm not sponsored by them and I might as well do my own sponsors at this point I mean look yeah. at this Delamere chocolate milkshake is only 1% yeah which means I'm not gonna get too fat drinking it but anyway that's not a promotion either by the way hopefully one day they'll pay me and then I can get some free milkshake but um yeah, basically, I, I feel as though I got scammed. I'll tell you what I paid for the car in a couple of minutes. Let me just explain a little bit more. So, I bought the car off eBay. Um, it was listed for 5000 It was an ex-police fleet car for Cambridgeshire Constabulary. So, yeah, as I was saying, um, I bought this car, sold a scene, unseen, off-site, and it turned up on the back of a truck, basically. Um, it had MOT, it had tax, it was fully legal and everything. So I thought, oh great, I'm getting a bargain. You know, the police have looked after this car, clearly. I saw a bow on your back. It turns out the police don't look after their cars very well. The car's missing a bunch of service history. I was told the cam belt was changed. I was told the DPF was cleaned. And it wasn't. The car needs everything. It probably even needs a clutch, maybe even a flywheel. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not I'm not a mechanic. I will be getting a, a mechanic to come and have a look at it. There will be like a little update video. Um, but yeah, Auto Alex. Cheers for telling me to go out and buy a sh box because now I'm lumbered with it. Oh no. So a little bit more about the car it is a 2014 Vauxhall insignia limited edition 170 cdti i believe with stop start and nearly every optional extra from the factory but there are some big problems with this car as i say the clutch might be gone the flywheel might be gone um the gearbox does feel okay but i'm still not 100 percent about that the cam belt probably needs doing. It's a lot more money to be spent, to be fair, than I expected. Um, the brakes are gone. It needs new discs, new pads. Uh, one of the back springs look like the sin better days, so that's probably gone as well, to be fair. When I initially bought the car, there was nothing on the clock to say anything was wrong. Um, everything was all hunky-dory, as they say. Let me just show you what it says when I start the car. Oh, if I can 
get off you. That is how you do it. <clears throat> Alright, so here we are, guys. Let me see if I can show you what is wrong with the car. Apart from it being a noisy diesel. Alright, let me see. Alright, so look at that. Change engine oil soon. That's not a great start. Side detection system error. That's not a great start. Um, park assist. Yeah, that's not a great start. Service vehicle soon. That's not a great start. Alright, oh, thanks for adding the fuel low there as well. That just helps me out, you know. All the air pressures are low. Service soon. There you go. So, yeah. A bunch of problems basically and what have I get what have I gotten myself into? I'm not really sure. Lola, what do you think about the car, sweetheart? You're jumping around, you've took your socks off, so you must be feeling like you're at home. It's great, Dad. It's great. Yes, it's really cool. Yeah. Is it gonna cost me anything to get it all sorted for the road? Because we can't drive anywhere, sweetie, because the tyres need changing as well. That's another thing I forgot. The car's basically got four ball tyres. So I'm going to need to go to the tyre shop and probably spend a small fortune on tyres for these 19-inch alloys. Yeah, sweetie? Look, I want to I know. Would you like to blow a bubble for everyone? Mm -hmm. Go on, then. Would you like to blow a couple bubbles before we end this scene? Uh-huh. Go on then. It's red, don't it? Mm-hmm. Let me try some bubbles with the camera, please. Oh, please, what? That's what I put in the Yeah, well, I was going to eat it because I'm going to have no money left after this car. I'm just going to be eating bubbles, pretty much. And you are forever blowing bubbles. Alright, so let me just, um, yeah, it is a, it is a sat-nav model, however, I don't really know how to use this sat-nav yet, so I won't show you, but, um, yeah, let me go outside and show you a little bit more. What on earth does it keep beeping for? Let me, let me show you guys what it keeps beeping. <coughs> Silly keyless sensor, look at these bull tires. That's why it keeps beeping. <clears throat> yeah, the tires are the tires have seen better days. Um we've got a little scratch there on the door. Another tiny little scratch there. Oh that's actually quite a big scratch. Need to do something about that. This tire looks okay. Um, I don't see any. Oh, I say that. I don't see any dents. There's a tiny scratch dent there. Um, <clears throat> can't really see anything else. Nice diesel fuel sticker there. The police left me this nice little police light. Obviously, they. Uh, they want me to use it. So yeah, um, another little scratch there. Couple. Yeah, to be fair, I probably shouldn't have bought a white car. Another scratch there. But apart from that, there's no dent. There doesn't look like any damage. All the body panels line up really nicely. Doesn't look like it's been in an accident, but you never know with the police. You never know. This thing could have boxed in multiple people and had a whole new front end, new doors. Just who knows, to be fair. This is what the insides look like. And to be fair, for, for a 10 year old car, this does not look bad at all. This practically looks brand new. I mean, the back seats, 
they they don't even look like they've ever been sat in. Uh, let me see. Yeah, that's never been used. Surely that's never been used. I had an insignia before, and it was disgusting compared to this. Okay. This one, pretty much. Oh no. The jack and the tire iron, have we got a spare? Yes we do. Has that been used? Maybe. Maybe in a previous life. Call cool, that's a mess. I need to sort the whole thing out to be fair. At least I got a pasta shelf. Um yeah. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Did I get ripped off? Did I get bumped? I will I will tell you what I paid for this car. I paid I paid a ridiculous price for this car oh I need to breathe just to be able to say it I paid four thousand three hundred and fifty pounds off-site unseen completely unseen had to pay a deposit for it to be delivered yes sweetheart yes I will eat crispies in a minute sweetheart let me just finish this video Yes, they are my favourite. Although they're not Pringies. Well, not to say the real word, but... So yeah, it feels like I got scammed. It was nearly four and a half thousand pounds for a car that needs everything. So I think it needs a clutch, a flywheel, um, four tyres, brakes, discs. The discs look like they're in such a bad state, to be fair. I didn't show you the discs, but maybe we will on an update video coming up soon. Um, yeah, I got scammed basically. I took Auto Alex's advice and it didn't pay off. So I don't know how much the car's worth. Someone will probably be able to tell in the comment. Sorry, someone will, will be probably able to tell me in the comments how much it's worth. It's on 101,000 miles. Um, it's got a very short MOT, I believe. It's only got two or three months, possibly. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, there is a, an update video to come where I will be taking it to my local tyre shop to get tyres and brakes sorted, hopefully. Fingers crossed. And yeah, I'll let you guys know. Um, in the meantime, here is what Auto Alex had to say about my previous car. All right, next on the list, we've got a Vauxhall Insignia, and that's submitted by Ash. Hey, Car Throttle, I love everything you guys have been doing. I've been watching the roast. I saw you had a Corsa on. Thought you'd love my Insignia. Two litre CDTI bi turbo VX line blob. So bored. Uh, DPF delete, remap, EGR delete, boost gauge, straight through exhaust, powder coat, Subaru gold wheels, KLN air filter, Rick and Morty stickers. Cheers for looking at the channel again. <sighs> Come on, Ash, man. This is f***ing awful, isn't it? Does that say that sticker? No, who cares? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Any more pictures, or can we just move yeah. on? Yeah. Oh, boost oh, gauge, yeah. You need one of those, don't you, mate? Why do you put LED strips around your... To be fair to him, though, that's the first time I've ever seen someone do that. So he's a bit yeah, of a... Yeah, there's, there's a reason. A bit of a pioneer, though. It's like he reason, walked into yeah. a bargain light shop and said yes. Commission established. 